everyone, it's been a little while since I filmed a video, even though I've been posting a lot on my blog, so I thought I'd do a new one today. I've decided to do a luxury beauty haul because most of the products I've bought recently have been slightly more high-end um, and I've been treating myself a little bit more than I should be. So let's get started. The first product that I've bought recently is this. It's a palette from Inglot and it's what part of their sort of freedom system palette system. God, many systems in that sentence. I was going to go for a five shade palette because I really wanted a navy palette that had neutrals with it, like the Bobbi Brown one, um, but unfortunately, funds just wouldn't allow it and I wanted to try out Inglot's like, products before I actually went and bought loads of shades from them. Um, so these are the colours that I decided on. And I really liked this sort of pearlescent white shade because it really reminded me of Max Vanilla Pigment and this one reminded me of um, MAC Deep Truth and this one reminded me of MAC Contrast so I thought I'd sort of team them all together and see how they looked and I really liked them um, in store so I decided to go for them and I picked this up in um, Westfield White City and so I don't know if you can see this but that's sort of what they look like and the only complaint I have about Inglot is the fact that their shades don't have names they are just numbers so I think this is like 35 and 400 and something and it's just really confusing so I've had to write all mine down in case I ever want to replace them but the beauty of it is you can replace them without having to replace the whole palette like most palettes really um sort of like the MAC system etc um, but so far I've been really impressed with these I've only actually used them once and so I could do a look for my blog um but yeah so far so good but I'll link the review down below so you can have a look at that but that's the first thing I bought recently I think I got that about a week ago um and it cost me £18.50 which I thought was quite good given that if you bought the same thing in MAC it would be sort of £30 plus so yeah so far so good with these but I'll let you know how it compares to my MAC products later on. Next up for makeup is a product that I ordered in the Feel Unique sale which I've been absolutely loving and if you haven't checked it out you need to because they've got so many bargains on there at the moment but this is um, an Elizabeth Arden product and I'd never tried Elizabeth Arden before so I'd always assumed that her products were sort of aimed at the maybe slightly more mature w woman <laughs> um, but I saw this and I'm a magpie and the packaging just sucked me in. It's just this beautiful rose gold compact and it's a highlighter and it's a rose gold highlighter and it has a lovely big mirror and it's called Rose Illumination and it's a pure finish highlighter. Oh, how lovely. And it's quite pigmented for a highlighter to be honest. I don't know if you can actually see that because my face is in the way. But um, it does translate onto the skin as more of a gold colour, um, which I really like. Um, so, so far so good with this. I've only used it a couple of times, but I'll let you know how I get on with it. I've reviewed this on my blog too, so it's worth checking that out over there if you'd like to head on over. Um, but yes, really, really nice colour and I love the packaging, so we'll have to check this out. But if you've tried any other Elizabeth Arden products that you like, please let me know because I really actually um, have really liked the brand so far. So yeah. So I caved and I bought some Yves Saint Laurent lipstick, which they are so expensive. This was sort of £19, I think, from the Feel Unique sale, another product from my Feel Unique batch. And that is good. Like, it's normally £24, which is just a little bit too steep. But just look at the beautiful packaging. Oh my goodness me. But yeah, it's a gorgeous sort of peachy colour. And... The lovely thing about this is for me, I don't really wear nude lipstick, I find that it kind of drains my face and doesn't really do a lot for me. So I'm actually wearing it today, I don't know if how much you can see, um, but it's just a nice sort of alternative to a nude for me. So yeah, I've been really enjoying using that so far, I've only used it a few times and again there's a link um, to it in the description for the review on my blog um, where I just talked about it, my initial thoughts, um, but yeah, it's beautiful and it's called, I think the colour's called Peach Passion, yeah it's number 13, so reference so you should get this if you're in the market to treat yourself because it's lovely okay so carrying on with makeup um this product is something i've been hearing a lot about for quite a while it is the bobby brown creamy concealer um in warm warm natural with a pale yellow sort of setting powder um and as you can see i've used it a little bit already um but it's the perfect shade for me and i use it under my eyes um and so far so good with this i really like it um i've actually like used it to replace my Benefit Boing which I've passed down to my mother um, but I just find that this is really good for under eye circles and I'm sure a lot of other people will agree with me on that um, but yeah I don't really have a lot to say about it so far I really like the powder because it like neutralises the under eye circles and any blemishes you have it like sort of takes the pigment out so if you've got sort of a big spot and you want like, the colour out of it just I just pop a bit of this over my foundation and my concealer and it sets it as well which works really well for me so yeah so far so good um, 
but I love Bobby Brown anyway so I did have high hopes for this and they've kind of my expectations have been met so far so moving on to skincare um the first product I'm going to talk about is something that I read about on Caroline Hiren's blog and if you haven't heard of her you should she is the best skincare blogger I have ever come across in my life I had the pleasure of meeting her at a blogger event a little while ago and she's just absolutely brilliant and she talked about this product which has probably been discussed many a time and it's called Hydroluron and it, came, it contains something that I can't pronounce called hyaluronic acid I think it's pronounced yeah hyaluronic acid and apparently this helps your products do their job better essentially it helps your skin feel less like dehydrated which is something I do struggle with with my skin it helps your moisturizer absorb better and it can apparently hold up to a thousand times its weight in water so it just makes you your skin feel much more plump and sort of glowy um, and I have to say this has been working really well for me I've only been using it about a week um, but yeah so far so good so lovely and it's got a really nice consistency as well it's not too sticky which is really annoying if you use a serum on your face and it sort of feels like a bit gloopy afterwards and if you do feel sticky when you use it you're using too much you just need a tiny tiny bit which means it'll last quite a long time and at the moment this is 16.99 in boots where it's normally 24.99 so definitely go and pick this up if you have the opportunity I, I know that doesn't make it sound particularly high end but for me 25 pounds is quite a lot um to spend on a serum so yes definitely go and get this if you're in the market for a new serum because it's on an offer and everybody loves a deal don't they yes they do sorry still got my cup of tea hmm. next up um is a product i bought on my quest for white teeth which has been ongoing for a very long time now it is called eye white and i saw adverts for this on tv and then i went in boot into boots to get something to whiten my teeth up with and this stood out to me because it was reduced from i think it was 30 pounds to 20 pounds so i thought okay we'll go for that um and how it works is you get 10 free like 10 pre-filled trays and um you use them for top and bottom and it hasn't got peroxide in it so it supposedly doesn't damage the like damage the enamel on your teeth which obviously is something everybody wants you don't really want thin enamel because it does look really silly um, and it's really bad for you so they look like this you put one on top and one on bottom and the thing that I have found about this so far and I've only used it twice is that it tastes disgusting like all tooth whitener tastes gross especially the ones with the with the trays because you are essentially filling the tray with peroxide and even though this doesn't have peroxide it tastes rank like when you if you whiten your teeth you'll know, know what I mean you can't like spit anything out when you're trying to whiten your teeth and this has turned into a lovely video um, <laughs> so you're just sat there with this horrible horrible taste in your mouth I think there may just be a little bit too much product in the trays when they arrive so I don't know whether I'm going to try and take some out next time I have noticed a slight lightening in my teeth and I do use um, a, like a lightening whitening toothpaste before and afterwards um, but yeah, we'll have to wait and see at the end of the course. I've been using this every other day so far. Um, and then just using like whitening toothpaste in between. It's okay. I don't really know. I can't really give a full review until it's all finished. Um, but yeah, it. I don't know if it's going to be worth the money and that's going to be the main thing. But it was kind of bought on a whim because normally I use the, I think it's called Rapid White or something from Boots. And that worked really well for me given that it doesn't have hydro like hydrogen peroxide or whatever it's called in it. Um, but other than that, I get my stuff from America. But shh. Okay, now on to hair care. Now this is a product that I got when I got my hair done the other day. Um, and I've actually had a, a sort of a restyle done. They've, they've cut my hair from a mid, into a middle parting and it's a bit more shaped around my face. And I'm a big fan of it. And it was really shiny after she finished. And I went, what did you use? It smells amazing. It looks really glossy. What can I get? And she said, this is what she used. And it's from a brand called Unique, which is a brand that I've never heard of before. And um, the product is called Argan Plus. And apparently it has 10 benefits to it, so it does absolutely everything. It, you know, gives a shine and it's detangling and it just does everything and stops frizziness and all sorts. And it seemed to do everything that I ever need. So I picked it up and I just really love this so far. Um, I've just been using it since I got my hair done a few days ago and it's just, my hair is so shiny. Um, and this smells amazing. And I don't know if you can only get it from hairdressers, so I might be recommending something to you that you can't get hold of, but yeah really really nice and I think this was around £13 so it's definitely worth picking up if your hairdresser does sell it or you can find somewhere online that sells it and I'll definitely be repurchasing this for my hairdresser after I'm finished because so far so good um, I haven't really used it that much but I just love it already and it's one of those things where you don't need a lot of it so it'll last me quite a while I'm hoping but yeah lovely so far so definitely worth something to pick up if you're in the market for a new hair serum 
Last but surely not least is a product that I actually have been buying for the past four years but I have never talked about it and I cannot believe that. It is the TG Catwalk Curlesque Curl Amplifier and there are a lot of curls in that sentence and this is the best thing I have ever used on my hair and probably ever will. My mum got this for me when I was like for my 16th birthday and I've been using it ever since. It has saved my hair, it stops it being frizzy, it makes my curls nice and bouncy, it works brilliantly with like a diffuser on a hair dryer. So if you have curly hair and you struggle with frizziness, you need this, it's worth the extra money. It ranges from about £10 to £13, varying from where you get it from. I think you can get it from ASOS where you get um, like 10% off, but I actually got this in the Feel Unique sale which put it down to about £9 I think, which is really really good. And yes, buy it if you struggle with frizziness because I've been using it consistently and I love it. It's brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. Okay, so I think that's everything I wanted to talk about with you guys today. If you have any of the products that I've talked about, let me know what you think of them, because obviously I've just got these, and I've only been using them for a little while, so you have to let me know. Um, if you have any video requests, do let me know, because I find it really hard to decide what to do, and then I suddenly realised that I had loads of high-end products that I haven't talked about with you guys. But if you do have requests, do let me know, and I hope you enjoyed the video. I don't really think I have any other life updates for you so far. Um, no... Not, I have nothing going on with my life. So I hope you're all well and that you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and do subscribe and leave a comment if you do because I'd love to check out your channels as well. And I will see you soon. Bye! It is a, a micellar water from Nukes Paris. I'm just massacring the French language here, aren't I? <laughs>